guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my car building tune episode. It's last episode, I made this the BMW E36, and it slides well. Really nice slider. Uh, it's got quite a bit of stability, and the power is there as well. So if you haven't checked that out, go check out that video. It's a very nice car, and I recommend you make it. So yeah, let's buy the next car. Uh, top voted comment was a Toyota Supra. So let me jump to my controller. There's less noise. Um, let's scroll to. Toyota Supra. Are we there yet? Alright, um. So, this is the most voted comment. Um, the stock engine. Gotta stay stock in this fucking Supra. Um. Fuck a paint job. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, what should we go for? Ah, let's go for this baby blue kind of colour. It's different, I guess. I've never used it before. Bit pretty weird, to be fair. It's like a silvery blue kind of baby blue. I don't know. Pretty weird. <laughs> One thing I will say about the Supra, I just hate the stock wheels. Just, I hate them. I absolutely despise them. Anyway, let's jump into upgrades. So, engine, we're staying the same. Drivetrain we won't have to change because it is already three wheel drive. Aspiration, I don't think I'm going to change it, mate. If do I want the stock twin turbo or just want a single turbo? Um, to be fair, I have stock with single turbos in these builds. But uh, I'm just going to stick with the, the stock twin turbo. It works best with the engine, so I don't see the point of changing it, to be honest. Um, body kit. I don't know what body kits are there. I do like the AV flug on the on the Supra. So let's choose the AV flug um, thingy bob. All right, let's de-wiper this. Supra's de-wipered for me are the bomb. Absolutely adore it. So AV flug rear bumper is absolutely terrible. The fuck is that? Oh dear. Trial, yep. <laughs> Trial rear bumper and the side skirts we're gonna go for. AB flux side skirts, there we go. Okay, so a bit of a mix and match, but the rear bumper is just trial, so that's fine. What's, what does the bonnet look like? Ah, let's stay stock. I wanna keep it kinda clean. Uh, so putting that on and look, make it a little bit, a little bit rice. <laughs> um, but yeah, this colour pretty makes it pretty, uh, makes it rice already. Ooh, milkshake. <laughs> Got given a milkshake. No better way to to ruin an episode, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, sport tyre compound, tyre widths. What are the fronts? Two six five on the front. I want to get as much tyre as I can. Um, whoa, whoa! I don't think I need that much tire to be honest. Uh, so I've got two six fives on the front. So if we run, if we run two nine fives. It's gonna be enough. Um, <laughs> all this, I, I, that's too much. Three four fives on the rear. <sighs> let's go up one. Let's go three one fives. Obviously, more tire gives you more grip, but having too much tire, it's not gonna help when you're on the wheel. So. I don't know what wheels will suit this to be honest. Maybe the stock BBS. Yeah, let's just go BBS. BBS, ooh. Rim size, let's go up to 18s. Do I want to go up to 18s though? That does look a little bit too much. No, that looks too much. Alright, let's go 18s. They don't look too bad. Um, it looks a little bit oversized though. But let's go 18s. And yeah, let's jump onto the drivetrain. Everything in here is going to be raised. Um, a lot of people say not to change the transmission, uh, but it seems to work for me. I just like when something works for you, I, I don't see the point of changing what works for you. Uh, obviously, it might be a little bit better, but what's the worth? Oh, what's the risk? What is the risk? It already works. No point changing something that works. So yeah, there we go. That is the drivetrain done. 
So now we're onto platform and handling. We need those race brakes to stop the car. Like, a lot of people, they risk no brakes, but ain't nobody got time for that. And the lows have just made this car insane. What? That, like, I was, I was worried about the colour then. I was worried about that baby blue. I thought it was going to be a little bit, a little bit gay. Not going to lie. Uh, it still looks a little bit gay, but the suspension has just pulled it off. The BBS and that paintwork. Damn. Okay, so the roll cage. Ah, it looks pretty sweet, I guess. And weight reduction. Let's just go full weight reduction, yeah? Okay, so that's that. So now we're on to power. And how much does this car weigh? Oh, shit. Wrong button. Forza 5, it was way to switch to the horsepower and fucking piece of shit. Um, there we go. 320. And the weight is... What? 2,700 pounds? You what? Are you kidding me? Okay, so let's go air filter, exhaust, camshafts if they're there, yep. Let's go camshafts, 452 horsepower, that's nice. Uh, we're gonna need it because of this weight. Uh, turbos are gonna leave stock actually for now. Intercooler can go. And oil and cooling can go as well. So that's it, takes us to 482. I'm just going to push it just over 500, and I think that should be enough with this weight. Because uh, this engine, nice engine. Um, so let's just try our fuel system. 509, that is pretty much what I want to be honest. Uh, a little bit more power could not hurt. So let's go 530 horsepower. Uh, the weight has gone down to 2,700. Not, it hasn't gone down too much, so it's still a pretty heavy car. But we got the power now. We got 530 horsepower. That is more than enough. So yeah, that is the upgrade. So if you want, just follow that video through and put the upgrades on. So let's jump into a race on Silverstone, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're here. Engine is on point. That sounded fucking amazing. Power is here. Um, gearing feels really bad. Doing 90 miles per hour in gear to really isn't a good sign, but you never know. It could work out quite well with a lot of camber and tire pressures, I guess. quite nice to be fair. Do I even have to change you? <laughs> no, I'm going to put like the stock tune I normally put on, see if it helps the car. If it doesn't, I'll go back to default and just make a few little adjustments, but for now I'm just going to just gonna leave the tyres as they are, they feel pretty nice. Um, the gearing can go to acceleration just a little bit, we need to shorten up those gears. Um, cam butt. Let's go trying to get on 2.0 but it's not going can I do it on the controller let's look no it doesn't want to go to 2 oh there we go <laughs> there we go 2.0 that's what I wanted and let's go up to about let's go 1.6 0.1 and minus 0.1 and the cast all the way to the top actually bring it down let's go to 6.0 uh, Anti roll bars, the front is pretty much where I want it. Got to bring the rear up a bit though. Uh, I like my springs pretty uh, pretty stiff, so if you don't like your stiff, just take them down a bit. Um, a little bit more bouncy of a car, but I like my stiff, so I'm just going to leave mine around there. I like it softer in the rear as well, so yeah, this super is pretty much set up quite nice already, to be fair. Only small adjustments, but pretty nice. Uh, so let's lock the differential as well. Let's go 100%, 100%. Get those wheels spinning evenly. It's all gonna help. Okay, so let's jump out. I blatantly just ruined like the whole fucking car. But yeah, let's go.
Oh, shit, I pushed it too far. But that felt okay, to be fair. I'm going to give it another run. Um, it felt a little bit loose in the front, so maybe... Lower some tyre pressures in the front, just get a little bit more grip. Uh, maybe lower the camber a tiny bit, but... Yeah, let's give it another run. Maybe it's just me getting used to the car, but I don't know. Oh, that was terrible driving. Oh, it's even worse driving now. Fuck. Um, but yeah, that feels a little bit... felt a little bit oversteery, but... Oversteer is good when you drift in, but you don't want too much. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that oversteer for now. Uh, but let's jump into tune setup. I just want a little bit more grip in the front. So I'm going to go down 28.5 and just put it up in the rear a tiny bit. Alignment. Just going to bring the camber down 0.1 as well. Should get a little bit more tire on the tarmac. That's what we want. So yeah, the steering feels a lot heavier already. That's a good sign. Okay, so that wasn't too bad to be fair. Uh, it could be a lot smoother, but in terms of drifting, that's quite nice. Like it's got the power, it's got the tyre spin, uh, stability could improve, that's the only problem. But I kind of don't want to lose the tyre spin. Nice to be fair. Kinda like that. I'm gonna give it another run. Okay, that felt really nice to be fair. <laughs> oh my god. That was insane. I don't think I'm even going to change this anymore. It's just so easy. I know the Super is amazingly good, but... That was so fucking easy. Well, I'm not really the best on the wheel yet, so for me to, to drift like I just did... That was fucking epic. Oh no, I've lost it. That was a terrible run from the start. It seems to be like when I lose my run, I just, I just mess up all the rest of it. Um, I'm trying to think what I could do. Maybe grip up the tiny bit in the rear, but it's only going to be a small, small, small minor adjustment. Because I don't think I really want to adjust this car, it just feels perfect to be fair. Um, what do I do? I just want to go down a just a tiny bit in the rear, just see if that extra grip in the in the rear will ruin the tire spin or it will just help the stability a little bit. It could go either ways. If we lose the tire spin, it could be a little bit. Leave it. Yeah! Oh, that was a very nice run. Second corner went a little bit a little bit sloppy, but let's give it one more. Rear tyres didn't feel too grippy to be fair, which is a good thing, because I don't want them that grippy that it's hard to slide it, but...
That is a very nice car. I like that. I like this car. It's going to be one of my favourites now. It's just how easy it is. You can just throw it in and it just stays. I think the long wheelbase really does help though. Uh, like, if I put this tune on to say something a small wheelbase, something like a 350Z or something like that, it won't come out as good as this, but seeing as it's got a long wheelbase, it's absolutely insane. So I don't know if this is going to work very well on the controller. Uh, let me know in the comments below. But on the wheel, this feels amazing. I'm not even going to lie. That is crazy. So I'll show you the tune right now. I'll, I'll just skip through it. Um, here we go. There's the tyres. Gearing. Anti... Oh, alignment. <laughs> Anti-roll bars. Springs. Damping. Aero, break in, and a differential. So if you want to copy them down, just pause the video, make it full screen, you'll be able to see it. Uh, just copy those down. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. This super is epic. So hope you guys actually try it out because this is going to be one of my best cars. I'm not even going to lie. I don't, like right now, I don't even think I have a best car. So this has, pl there's plenty of room in my garage for this car. Wow, you could reverse entry in this. The tyres were spinning in gear 3 when I was going backwards at like 20 miles an hour. So, yeah, I kind of failed on that entry, but you got the idea. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.